Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem 8. Pick my units. Last time was mostly dialogue. Uh, it was actually really mostly dialogue, but this time we're gonna start chapter 9 Distant Blade. And here we go. Erika chooses to travel by sea to the theocracy of Rostrin. Her search for a ship leads her to Port Curis in Carcino. Carcino is a young nation ruled by a council of merchants and it is an all and is an ally of Freyla. Carcino's council leader Klimt a staunch opponent of Grado's imperialistic actions has pledged Carcino's support to Freyla in this conflict. Prince Ines also intends to pass through Carcino on his way to Johanna. Erica believes there is nothing to fear in Carcino, but she is wrong. Chapter 9, Distant Blade. Great O'Keefe. Freyla, sacred stone has been destroyed, and yet you still cannot locate the stone of Reneus. Glenn, Walter, find the children of Reneus. Find them and take from them the bracelets that they wear. Glenn, take Erica. Falter, take Ephraim, find them, conquer them. Yes, yes, your majesty. Haha, <laughs> Erica, eh? She's a ripe little peach. And her brother Ephraim, he's better prey than I imagined. I can feel my blood rushing at the thought. This might be fun after all. Kalak, Reeve, shatter the remaining sacred stones. Kalak, Take Jahana. Reeve, take Rostrin. Go, crush the sacred stones they house. <laughs> As you will. I'll begin making an arrangement for Rostrin's downfall immediately. Bah, why am I stuck with Jahana? A cursed ill luck. I became a mercenary to escape that wretched place and now I must go back. Dussel, go to Freyla. Take the Freyland army and punish Ephraim. Selina, remain in the capital. Soon I will have new orders for you. Yes, sire. Oh, God. Damn it. Erica, wait. Tana, what are you doing? You are supposed to remain in the palace. You, you left so abruptly, without any warning or farewell. You and Ephraim have only just arrived, and already you leave on another quest? Well, I'm your friend, Erica, and I won't let you go into death. Jesus Christ, I'm not reading the rest of that. Does King Hayden know of this? No, he just say, I forbid you to go on this foolish errand, like always. But I'm so worried about you. Thank you, Tana. I appreciate your concern, but King Hayden would... You and Ephraim, my father and my brother, you're all fighting together. What happened, to boy? You're all fighting together, fighting for a noble cause. I cannot be left out. I will not be left out. Please, Erica. Oh, all right. I could. I never could refuse you anything. Come on, let's go, Tana. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> Your Highness, we've reached Port Curious. If we find passage across the North Sea, we will reach Rostin in ten days. It's, it smells of tides. This is a busy place, isn't it? <laughs> it's a trade center. Peoples of all nations pass through here. Do not become so enthralled with the sights and sounds that you forget your mission. I won't. I'm a mercenary by the name of Rina. I'm traveling to Rostin to receive a commission. <laughs> Let us look for a ship, then, Arena. The docks are this way. 
there's <laughs> something amiss. Seth, that woman over there, is that... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. You know what, voice... <laughs> you know what time it is. Oh, these dainty sugar pastries. They're delightfully scrumptious. Flavorful without being overwhelming. Refined without being bad. Right, so. Whoa, right you are, Lady Lady Rochelle. You look familiar. Oh, aren't you? We've met before, haven't we? You arrived with your companions when we encountered those creatures. Your name is La Rochelle, is it not? A wonder and pleasure that we should meet again so soon. It is providence. Bad luck is the only thing that Divine has ever provided you. Oh, and if you have not yet tried one, these pages are also uh, divine. Would you care for one? Uh, uh, thank you. No, wait, that's not what... We're actually on our way to the Theocracy of Rostrum. We are rather in a rush and need to find passage on the ship. Oh, dear. I'm afraid you'll find none to assist you. No ships are leaving port. But the ships can enter my port. Part? Pardon? Oh, I see. I find myself heading home once more to my beloved Rostian as well. Uh, and actually, I'm quite well known with the powers that be here in Port Curious. So I ordered them to ready the finest passenger vessel for me. Both merchants and passenger ships alike are too frightened to set sail on me. It seems a giant ghost ship has been sinking every ship it finds. Ah, oh, what a that I confront it. I could stop its foul villainy in a moment. Alas, it's such a shame. Y yes, yes, uh, that is troublesome. Still, I must get to Rostian somehow. Ah. Oh, needn't worry too much. After all, the sea is close to you. Uh, simply follow the overland route. The overland route? I've heard that's a terribly roundabout path to travel. Oh, it is. But don't you see the hardships of the road? They are truly blessings. They will toughen you and strengthen your resolve when you need to face great evil. For example, oh, I've been tasked with a great trial in order to better me. I understand my path. Oh, unknowable forces of providence. I, your faithful servant, La Rochelle, shall overcome with faith and divine strength. I've... The fact that they gave that voice to probably one of the most plot important characters in this game. <laughs> uh, now, now listen, Rochelle, you might be thrilled about going the long way, but... Uh, come now, we're leaving. Dazzler, Renak, don't fall behind. But you can look at my behind. <laughs> Whoa, wait for us, Lady Rochelle. Come on, Renak. We run till we drop. The first one to collapse from exhaustion is the winner. Help. Why is this happening to me? Uh, 
uh, Seth, isn't Roshan in the other direction? Aren't they heading toward Freyla? <laughs> it's nothing you need to concern yourself with, Milady. Our only, our only concern now is to decide our next course of action. An overland journey would be very long. However, it seems that we may that may be our only choice at the moment. I agree. Whatever shall we do? <laughs> You're Araka, the princess of Aeneas, ain't you? What? Dest <laughs> Dastard! Away with you! Whoa, whoa there, buddy. No need to get personal. You know, that's a pretty bit, that's a pretty price on your pretty head. Sorry, but I need that gold. Okay, what the fuck did I just read? Uh, this is chapter 9. This is... This is actually probably one of the more harder chapters. Because we have to deal with this stupid fucking sniper here. And this pirate spawns in turn 1 and goes immediately for this village over here. So, uh, we have to bring Tana, so I guess, for the first time in a long while, we actually get to talk about a new unit. Uh, Tana, in the same vein as, uh, as, uh, Vanessa over here, is a Pegasus Knight. And uh, her growths, her growths are as follows: 65 HP, 45 45 strength, 40 skill, 65 speed, 60 luck, 20 defense, and 25 resistance. So, looking, comparing her to uh, Vanessa, she's meant to be the more HP and attack heavy. Uh, flyer. While Vanessa is meant to be the more, uh, the more defensive of the two at 2030, while she's only 2025. So that's uh, Vanessa. That's also my controller about to fall down. Uh, anyways, the boss of this chapter is actually a promoted unit, a warrior, Binks. A uh, seal, seal axe, and a steel bow. We want him to always have a seal axe. You can easily choose this boss. But, uh. So, anyways, I'm gonna just really quickly do this. So, we have to bring Gilliam, Vanessa Ross, and loot. I uh, don't think we're. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so. I'm actually gonna bring Seth for this. Along with, uh. Rons. I don't think any of these enemies have stealables. This is, uh. Dude who drops an axe fever. There's a sniper here. Uh, there's a droppable killing edge. Uh, uh, this pirate here drops an ocean shield, your first one. Uh, that's not, I wasn't done looking at the uh, enemies. Uh, I don't think that's... Yeah, I think that's it. But, uh... So... I'm gonna bring Natasha and I guess... I guess Colm, we can bring Colm. 
Uh, I'm gonna do some rearranging first because uh, this map is God fucking. Alright. Alright, uh. Wow, she's actually fucking defensive as shit. So, yeah. So, I'm probably going to put. Because uh, I actually want to, want to swap you two because I need to get all right. Uh, let me just do some item rearrangement first. Uh, I actually don't have any lances. up all my javelins. Um, I am going to supply uh, give you your heal back. I don't know why you don't have it. Uh, I guess that's I guess we're good. So the basic strategy here is to you want to avoid these arches which is actually pretty easy you have to find the right sweet spot so I think uh, well first off I want to put comb right here so I can get one of the pirates to go for him because he has 29 avoid these guys are not going to have that much hit on him. Now what I want to do is I want to... Uh, I want to move my tanky units forward. I uh, so Also, we got new battle music. It's actually pretty good. So I think I'll do this. Uh, I don't know why they get. Why do they give her a heavy spear of all things when she has five con? She'll literally have effectively a speed of four. Well, at least with a iron lance, she only gets weighed down by three, so it's just ten speed. So she, she still doubles a lot of these guys. Well, not the mercenary, but that's a different story. Anyways, uh, what I need to do is I need to get Franz down here with a iron sword. Now this is probably the most important part is I have to find the sweet spot where I won't get attacked by any of these pirates here. And it looks like these two spaces Yeah, I know where the Right here. Cause she won't get attacked by this pirate. Although No, 
I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Alright. Alright, so I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna skip Baldi. Alright. So thankfully so I need to have front closer, so uh he should if I do if I put him here, he should be close enough to where he Oh what the f oh I can't move Tom there, but he has what? He has seven move. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Alright, so we'll do this because this first turn is actually really important. So we'll move Colm down not here, but well actually uh, the ocean gives 10 of void, so uh, the sand here only gives 5, so I want to put him here. I think, yeah, I want to put him here. Now, uh, what I need to do is I need to put... Because what I need to do is I need to bait this, uh, I need to bait this dude into going up here so I can swap and then kill him with loot here, because loot can fucking demolish this guy, no doubt. So that's what I need to do. So I gotta put him here. Uh, I'll equip an iron sword, so I don't get doubled, so. And then I put you here. I put you behind. Now we move everyone else forward. Oh wow. This dude actually spawned with one le this dude actually has one less defense now. Okay. And I'm gonna air. I'm airlifting. The reason why I'm bring, I'm bringing Seth over here to take care of these enemies and to intercept this pirate, because I, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, the pirates on this on here do not go after you. They go. They head straight for this village. And on normal mode, they spawn on turn two, but here they they spawn immediately. So you have to airlift Seth. You have to air, like, they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, so yeah, or, I don't know how they would go, but this sniper here is one of the big challenges in this chapter, because of just how, because a pre-promote sniper on this map, when most, when you also only have one pre-promote, and you have to ferry him over to this island to make sure to intercept this dude. Yeah. But, uh, I'm just gonna do this. Alright, well, let's see how this turns out. That was a dumb mistake. But, uh, the mercenary should go. Yeah, go for Tana. Doesn't double. Which is good. That was right. So what Colm is going to do is drive the pirates away from the village. That's good, getting rid of the sniper. I'll get rid of him next turn. And that's the reason I did that was so... Luke can destroy. And as you see, these guys have garbage hit rates. And they 
So yeah, as you saw, they make a beeline straight for it, which is why. Now we move bronze, I think, out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill this this archer with bronze, and then we let loot handle. This d oh shit, she has double. Well, uh, we can. That's that's actually really bad. Oh, cause this dude spawned with this dude has nine speed. That's why. Cause all these pirates down here. Actually, uh, if I don't attack this turn. He, I don't think he'll go there. Uh, like move near me here. Oh, she actually doubled as well. Uh, first off, I should probably actually turn on uh, Anna's. Cause with the heavy shoot, she gets doubled a lot. Oh, I can actually move her away and javelin the dude, which I probably will do. And then, uh, I'll weaken you with gilding. And then we'll use, uh, Using me to kill. So what level is near me? She's level nine. No. Uh. I have to use the iron sword. I trust Colm not to get hit here. And plus, this is really good experience for Colm. HP, skill, speed, luck, resistance, hello! Alright, so then... I want to stay out of the pirate's range. Or no, not the... Please, no, god damn it. No, he, okay. Oh, fuck me. <sighs> Sigh, dude. And that Myrmidon is actually really badly placed. map is this map is tricky this map is actually really tricky especially in hard mode so uh, I think next time we'll we'll give it another go we'll give it another go and yeah see you guys uh, see you guys later